Hello and welcome to Reddit on Reddit, the internet's auditory version of Reddit. I'm Nelson Allingham, joined by Michael Cambo Campbell. I just want to, I just want to put it out there. Mm -hmm. I'm on edge. <laughs> oh, I'm on edge. I'm, on looking, edge. I'm looking under tables. I checked under the, the couch before we started. Yep. I'm suspicious, Nelson. <laughs> oh, okay. Why I'll, tell you, that? I'll tell you why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stacy, yep. my, my beautiful partner. Yep. Far too interested in today's episode. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. And I'm a very deeply mistrusting person, especially for those that I love. Yeah, yeah. Don't trust them as far as I can throw them. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't. So I'm on edge. I'm not going to lie to you. And yeah. I, I would say, listeners, join me on edge. <laughs> yeah. It, it could be. Something's up. I suspect something's up. <laughs> There's suspicious things going on in the air. Have yeah. been all day. And I just want you to know that. I'm on edge. Yeah. Stacy and I. <laughs> what was that? Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. We are in cahoots. It's my own shadow, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> um, we've decided this is the episode uh, that we will break to you that we've been having an affair for oh, right. you have, a really long you time. You have peppered uh, many episodes worth of jokes to yeah. get me used to the idea. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This one, she's going to come in. It's going to be real serious. This is going to be tears. Um, I bought some serviette tissues for... You to just cry into great and um, <sighs> well, all I'm saying That's is, it. listeners, join me in my paranoia. I yeah. Want to <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Be suspicious of everything anyone does all day. What I like is you won't know when it's coming. Mm. Mm. Um, I just like to really quickly start off with something. Okay, you got a quick thing. Two things. Uh, quick thing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Quick thing. The first quick thing is. I apologize because actually I don't like starting a <laughs> podcast episode. Just where stop the sentence there. The, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, that's it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, where the thing I talk about only affects me. Okay. But right. just for the moment. Okay. I would like to talk about that. So Indulge. I apologize in advance. Um, the other thing is I would like to um, say like, oh, big ha ha hmm. to me. Hmm. The, the the big old joke, the practical joke that you and uh, some of my family and friends have played on me. Okay. Uh, you recommended that I watch Ted Lasso. Okay. This yep. explains something that I was going to ask you. Right, yeah. You asked me to watch Ted Lasso uh -huh. and uh, I started watching it. Mm -hmm. Great show. Yeah. Love Ted. Yeah. He's just the coolest guy happy, ever. Happy guy. Uh I'm having fun, fun, fun mm -hmm. as I'm watching the episodes. Then I get to a particular episode mm. um, where there's a charity auction. And who should show up in this charity auction? But Giles from Buffy, yeah. the vampire slayer. Yeah. And he is a huge asshole. Yeah. And I think that everybody who recommended me, Ted Lasso, secretly knew that this would destroy my perception and love of Giles and, and Buffy the Vampire Slayer as a whole, as a TV show, and now you can have a big old laugh because it's not going to affect me, I tell you what. But you know what the worst thing is? The absolute worst thing? His name is Rupert, which is the same name he, he, that he has in Buffy. He's Rupert Giles in Buffy, and now he's Rupert in this, and my mind's getting confused, but I have a strong, I have a strong mental capacity, Cambo. Yep. It wasn't that easy. Okay. All right. Can I recommend yeah. you watch the in between no, movie? <laughs> no. I think I might have. And I've blocked it out of my memory, which is what I plan to do with Ted Lasso. Yeah. After I watch it all and enjoy it all, okay. I'll block it from my so memory. This and does pre explain something. I actually wasn't going to bring it up on the show. Yeah. I was just going to ask you personally. Yeah. Uh, we share an email for this show. Yeah. And like late at night, I got a notification <laughs> with the email subject line, Ted Lasso. Yeah. And the body is empty. Sometimes I like to remind myself <laughs> of things I'm going to bring up on the show. And I remember thinking, what could this possibly be about? <laughs> yeah. And not making the Giles connection. <sighs> He's such an asshole in it. I, so, I, he was like talking. The more he spoke, the more I, I was watching with Ellen. I was like, oh, no, don't. <laughs> Oh, don't say that. It's imagine oh. you rocking back and forth. <laughs> yeah. No, no, this isn't how he is. Oh, Giles, he's so nice. <sighs> anyway. Uh, anyway, I think we should get into it. Okay, sure. Uh, this first Reddit on Reddit was by, uh, in the subreddit, Polls. And it was by Slab O Gum. Slab Zero Gum. All right. Uh, Slab O Gum could be Irish. Slab O Gum. Slab Ogum. Okay. Uh, 
you have to execute one of these people based on these descriptions. Mm -hmm. Who do you choose? Okay. Person one. Because I'm on edge, I sense a trick. (laughs) Okay. Oh, you're constantly on edge. Uh, Person one Mm -hmm. regularly donates millions of dollars to charity. Yep. Once robbed a Burger King. Okay. Person one. Person two. We'll cure all forms of cancer by next year. Has a woman trapped in his basement (laughs) against her will. Right. Person three. Runs a no-kill animal shelter. Yep. Beats her children. (laughs) Person four. Okay. Is a two-month-old baby. But has a 45% chance of causing World War III. Hmm. Person five. Makes free food for the homeless. Constantly thinks about cannibalizing someone. Okay. Okay. Here is the... Can I change that last one? Okay. I'd like to say... Has cannibalized someone. <laughs> and fed them to the homeless? And... and oh, oh, That's pretty dark. That's pretty dark. And fed them to the homeless. Yeah. And he's thinking about doing it again, but it's not sure. Yeah. So here's the, here's the calculation we need to make, I think, mm-hmm. which is net benefit or possible net damage this person can cause. Yeah, okay. And then you need to, I guess, divide it by the horrible thing they've done. Yeah. Now, curing cancer, mm. huge. That's up there. World War Three, also huge. Also up there. Yeah. And then, I mean, animal it's, shelter is good, but it's not it's curing not what, cancer or, or... It's not World War Three. Yeah. So, but also... It's only a forty-five percent chance, Cambo, of yeah. World War Three. I maybe that's too high. Can I say it's like twenty-five percent? Because actually, I feel like forty-five is too high to risk World War Three. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I think maybe if you logic it out, that one is very. That's too high a, a uh-huh. percentage. Yeah. So let's make it like twenty percent. Okay. Yeah. Right. Twenty percent chance. It's of- gone even twenty-five. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Twenty-five percent. One in four chance. <laughs> this kid over here. Yeah. Will start a war. Yeah. 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 Um, because the person who is curing all forms of cancer. Yeah. All forms. Br- br- that's a biggie. That's a biggie. <sighs> there is that but woman also having a word <laughs> But is the woman part of the experiments to cure the cancer? Oh, if it's the test subject. He had to have an unethical test subject because yeah. the, he's like, the science wouldn't community wouldn't allow me to do this otherwise. It's it's a bit like those Victorian doctors that were doing unethical medical research. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Possibly for net good. Yeah, yeah. But you don't agree with how they did it. But that's yeah. long enough in the past now. Yeah. Where you're like, like well, you know. Yeah. So you need to think about the future generations yeah. living without cancer. I like to think about the idea that everybody knows. <laughs> <laughs> and, yes, and it's like uh, <laughs> Doctor Doctor Jones will uh, now take questions uh, about his cure uh, again. Uh, they won't be answering questions about the woman in their basement. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we all know about that, uh, guys. Think about hundreds of years time from now. <laughs> Will we even think about the woman in his basement? Which is it's a sad it's it's a sad example of how history essentially um, like makes people's lives worthless. Mm. Because as sad as it sounds, like woman in a basement is a horrible way to live. Yeah, hundred years time that'll be an interesting fact. Yeah, like, do you know the, like do you know the guy that cured cancer? Weird thing, like he kept a woman in his basement. Yeah, yeah, that's how he did it. That's all it will be. Yeah. And because you look at like Vlad the Impaler, yeah, like how many people that dude impaled <laughs> in the most horrible way yeah. died over days on a spike, and everyone's yeah. like, That is fascinating, yeah. <laughs> but at so the time, I bet you yeah. no one thought it was fascinating. It was like, That guy's a horrendous, <laughs> horrendous man, yeah, yeah, or like, um, I don't know, Marie Antoinette, did she kill a lot of people? Uh, no, was she, was, she was just kind of a, a, a not a very no. good leader, maybe not her. There was a lady who I remember, she thought that the young blood of servants made her skin younger. Oh. So, and she learned that once by just punching a servant in the face. <laughs> okay. I mean, and then thought her hand looked younger. I, I, I'm no expert on Marie Antoinette. I knew that she bathed in milk. Um, yeah, so as the that's, what they, that's what they call it, Cambo. Yeah, but, servant's uh... blood. <laughs> <laughs> Life's milk. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. 
Um, no, I, it, it probably was somebody else. But yeah, just like, but isn't that such an interesting fact? Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. yeah, you don't think about the ramifications of it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we, we this we got our eyes on this doctor. Okay, okay. We think this doctor needs to possibly live. It possibly <laughs> live. Um, and the kid possi- possibly die. You've got a one in four chance. Yeah. I but, mean, 40, what is it, 45% chance here? Uh. Forty-five percent chance on yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That and a forty-five percent chance the kid is like pretty dead. I think super dead. But uh twenty-five yeah. percent chance we're 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 thinking about this kid. Yeah, yeah. Uh what else do we have? We have the person feeding the homeless perhaps yeah. have done a little bit of cannibalism. Done a little Not bit of cannibalism. Not too uncommon, especially with particular Hollywood actors that yeah. seem to be have cut out of recent movie trailers that they appear in. <laughs> um um, what, I th- what was the, what free we food for the homeless? Okay, see, to me, that's like such a small. No, maybe I shouldn't have changed. Well, this I want to know. I want to know the um the scale to which they're feeding the homeless. Are they feeding all homeless? Mm, or yeah. is it like homeless in a city? And I know that homeless in a city is still important, but on the scale of curing cancer in World War yep. Three, obviously less impactful globally. And also, actually, can I package this one with person number one who regularly donates millions of dollars to charity? Yeah. Is, I feel like, so... Oh, yeah, by I, the way, once robbed a Burger King. Yeah. Yeah, they're what fine. They're that's fine. How they got, that's how they got the millions Burger of dollars. Burger King is a, is a huge corporation. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They could take the loss. They'll be right. Yeah. <laughs> so as long as no one hurt about the, the person that he shot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're just a number. We'll laugh at this in the future when we're, when we're talking about it. Yeah. Uh, no, but I feel like... Or, or particularly for the homeless, maybe the idea that it, feeding the homeless, I think, is not a solution to a problem, hmm. right? Like there is a larger problem, it's a systemic problem, it, it, yeah, that causes homelessness. Yeah, and there's kind of, I think, a so lack of funding in the right places. You're saying at the top of the government, yeah. where where issues like this may be brought up, like what do we do with the homeless situation? Yeah, what is the root cause? You think yeah. that. It's not people going, I don't know, like a food? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't think it's like, <laughs> yeah. you know what will fix the problem? You just feed them. Yeah, yeah. Like, not saying that you, you know. I mean, shouldn't do that either. The, but... the, the key is in the name, homeless. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not foodless. Yeah, Foodless yeah. is a cause of homelessness. Yeah, yeah. But not the problem. There's, there's a, yeah, lots of, lots of factors in that. And so, so to me, it's like, well, yeah, you're, you're, you're helping, but like, in the overall scheme of things, yeah. you could be doing more. You know, band aid like on a gaping wound. Kind yeah, of thing. yeah. So, so to me, that could be a contender also for execution. <laughs> yeah, because the cannibalism is bad. Because cannibalism is bad. Did they kill the person? To eat them, or did they eat an already dead person? My opinion does change based on this. Oh yeah, uh, they the person was bleeding out. Uh-huh. Oh, so they it was didn't... uncertain whether okay. they'd survive. <laughs> right, right. They found a dying person. They found a dying person. Yeah, they've there's like a right... 50, 50 chance that person survives. <laughs> they've wandered right into that grey area. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's a real conundrum. Okay, okay. <laughs> Who who do we kill now? <laughs> uh, wait, runs a no animal no uh, runs a no kill animal shelter, but beats her children. Honestly, that's a contender <laughs> for me. <laughs> but I feel like you can take the kids away. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like like there there are there are right, solutions yeah. to that issue. Uh, yeah, that's not true. resulting in their death. Yeah, yeah. What if she's like, Whereas- I will kill the animals unless I can beat my children. <laughs> <laughs> but you can also shut down her shelter. Yeah. Well, that- Again, I feel like there are solutions to this issue that don't necessarily need okay. to result in so, death. So she's just like a not... This is one where I think the law can prevail. Okay, yeah, that's that's okay. That's true, I suppose. Um, Which I guess is kind of the problem for a couple of them, to be mm-hmm. honest with you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, dabbled in also, cannibalism. If you can prove it, the law could probably take care of that. <laughs> yeah. And you seem to know it. Based on this, yeah, mm. uh, a once-off can if they're eating people left, right, and center, mm-hmm. maybe. But a once-off cannibalism, I'm thinking I'm getting the authorities involved instead. I'd take the opportunity, Cambo, if it got a rose, <laughs> <laughs> just a once-off. Take less, taste like chicken. I don't know. Yeah, I don't. Um, okay, yeah, that's true. That can be solved. 
I think really we're coming down to. Um, I don't think. See, I do. I don't know if I want to. See, killing a two-month-old baby is hard as well. For a twenty-five percent chance of yeah. You've Look, made it a lot harder by lowering the percentage chance, yeah. which I think is a far more interesting question. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, okay, we've got to pick one, Cambo. So it seems like the thing is, I don't think we should kill the cancer doctor. I think their work is too important. I know it is, right? And, it's so bad. But and like and also. part of this is obviously like <laughs> skewered to my bias because like uh, my family has had cancer in it. So I'm like, uh, yeah, absolutely. That is a priority. Like. Beyond just the, the the world at large benefiting, yeah, I personally would benefit. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so many people, yeah, would benefit. Even let's say, like, if you had to choose between, uh, like, cancer being cured and World War Three happening, yeah, or neither, I think I would have that option where cancer is cured and World War Three happened. Oh. Because in the overall scheme of things, the future of humanity, yeah. assuming that we don't go into some nuclear winter and destroy the entire human race from World War Three, I think you actually save more lives over an infinite period of time. What if medical advancement often happens during, during World War Three? Maybe what we cure cancer. we cure yeah. cancer accidentally. Yeah. We like were trying to too many a- people dying of cancer yeah. and have enough soldiers. Cure it. <laughs> Yeah, that's all that needed to happen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we just needed to get desperate enough. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, mm, that's, see, a, so, that's an interesting one. Yeah. And the thing about world wars, despite their name, mm-hmm. there are pockets that aren't involved. Oh, yeah, yeah. How often, how easy would it be for us to <laughs> desert? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Or just keep Australia out of it. Very unlikely. Mm-hmm. We're tied to the little foot of America. So I've got if America's stumping in, we're hot on its tail normally. Okay, but I've already got one foot outside of Australia. <laughs> just even thinking about the prospect. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we going? Uh, we're going to Switzerland or Sweden, you know, whatever. <laughs> Whichever one. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I think Switzerland because uh, we remember we got surprised they actually have a really large army. Like yeah. much larger than Australia, and the knives were suspicious yeah. of a lot of things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, okay, uh, that's another question. Who are we killing, Campo? I, ah, oh God, I the guy that donates money to charity once Robert Burger King. He's fine. He's fine. <sighs> we'll cure cancer. But also has a woman trapped in his basement. Mm. I think he's. I think we're saying he's fine. Yeah, because, it's a toughie. It's a toughie. But we, we actually said that the whole world would benefit from that. Yeah, we're slightly wrong. Only one person wouldn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All but one. <laughs> All but one would benefit. Yeah. and maybe some pharmaceutical companies, mm. but they can obviously go get. Them. And anyone who might uh, be getting a promotion because their boss has cancer that would kill them no oh, yeah those people yeah, yeah. we also may don't benefit we may fuck up the corporate line <laughs> yeah. uh but we think we're, he's he's safe um next was runs a no kill animal shelter beats her children G- with the law will be we think with the law can yeah, take yeah. care of those things <laughs> yeah uh is a two-month-old baby has a 25 percent chance of causing world war three i do have my scope on the baby at the moment i'm thinking maybe the baby <laughs> the last person makes free food for the homeless Constantly thinks about cannibalizing someone slash has done so. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think I'm shooting the baby though. Uh, <laughs> well, I don't know. I, I would have to find a more humane way. <laughs> <laughs> shooting it seems too harsh for some reason. I mean, lethal injection. That's yeah. how they do it. It's meant to be the most humane way. Or I think put them in a freezer. <laughs> That's what you do. That's what you do with like rodents, I think. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um what a topic to welcome new listeners yeah, yeah, yeah. that has within within you know fifteen odd minutes resulted in the death of a small baby. <laughs> yeah, uh, stick with us, guys. It's uh, if this is your first episode, stick with us. It's not all baby death. Okay, I like to change this again. Okay, ten percent chance of World War Three. Uh, <laughs> okay, I want to know at then, what point we okay, don't kill okay, the yeah, baby. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if we're not killing the baby, who is doing the worst thing mm-hmm. out of them? We've got um, uh, Robert, Robert Burger King, woman in the basement, yeah. beating kids, cannibalism. Of uh, those, which is the most... I mean, I think it could be the cannibal yeah. sort of... Because it does depend on how... 
we're missing information of the like, are they killing multiple people sort yep. of thing? And because that's resulting in more deaths, right? Yeah. Theoretically. Because if, uh, and, if and, we and just go with the is thinks about cannibalism all the time, oh, that's yeah. nothing. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. I can think about murdering somebody every single day, but yeah. unless until I act on it, then it's nothing. Yeah. yeah. So I feel like they have to have. Unless done... this is 1984 and we have the Thought Police, Nelson, oh. which I don't think happened. <laughs> yeah. Mister Orwell, you idiot. Yeah. Your book was so wrong. <laughs> Do you know what I've decided? I'm I'm going to take a stand. I think even the, if the baby has 1% chance, World War III, <laughs> okay. I'm probably going to still have to go with the baby. I, I'm an optimist, Nelson. I like to think every baby has a 1% chance of course, <laughs> World War III. <laughs> Not wrong. <laughs> Not wrong, I think. Yeah. Uh, one accidental slip of the finger over a nuclear <laughs> warhead button. That's uh, that's World War Three right there. Every baby born today has a 1% chance. <laughs> yeah. Don't look into the maths of that yeah. with population growth. So what you're saying is kill all the babies. <laughs> oh, geez. I didn't say it. Yeah. Um, I'll go through the uh, poll answers. Okay. Just so, just so we've got an idea. 181 people would kill the, would kill the uh, person regularly donating to charity who once robbed a Burger King. Really? That is so... For I, robbing I would, a Burger King? I would expect that to be zero people. That now, is insane. I'll be honest with you, and I don't want to um, downplay what robbing a Burger King means, yeah. but if you told me, oh my god, I just robbed a Burger King, I'd yeah. be like, I won't tell anyone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, 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 it's fine. It's okay. Did you kill someone? No, no. Nah, it's fine. Don't no. worry about it. <laughs> Do you hurt any of the police? No, I, I took money from the register. Yeah. And the company's insured? Obviously it's insured. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> I mean, Nelson, don't do it again, Yeah, yeah, yeah. but I won't tell anyone. Yeah. I certainly won't kill you. Yeah. <laughs> Um, 831 people said that they would kill the, uh, scientist, Mm -hmm. I suppose we're calling this person who's going to cure cancer, but has a woman trapped in their basement. Uh, 1,900 people would kill the, uh, oh, the, the woman who runs a no-kill animal shelter for Bisa children. Okay. That's a surprisingly large amount. Yeah. The guy, they haven't considered the fact that. The law will take care of this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think that taking a life should be the result of taking a life. You know yeah, I mean? yeah. I think that's true. Yeah, I agree. Um, so unless the children become traumatized and then become mass murderers, start World War Three. Start World War Three. <laughs> oh, oh no! no. <laughs> uh, person number four, four thousand nine hundred people said. Uh, the two-month-old baby at a fourth. So point. that that's that's the the by the winner. Yeah, by a large percentage, and then uh, person five uh, makes free food for the homeless. That was two hundred and sixty-four people said mm. they would kill that person. So if we're going in order from lowest to highest, it's person one, person five, person two, person three, person four. Okay. So yeah, interesting, interesting. Okay, uh, let's move on into ask credit. <laughs> Uh, this ask credit is by main s b m u r k i n. Wait, ma in sp m u r kin. No, that didn't help. <laughs> uh, you just won the lotto. How do you quit your job? Oh, okay. Now, the problem I face is not hating my job. Yeah. Which means I think the result is, if I had to do it in a way, like, obviously the real answer is very boring. So if I had to do it in a way that is, like, mm-hmm. fun, Yeah, I think I'm ghosting. Oh, just a ghost. Okay. I just never turn up again. Yeah, that'd be good. Never answer your phone. No. no. Make sure that your emergency contact that you had to put in for work doesn't answer their phone either. Mm. Make it impossible for people to find you. Uh, uh, but I'm thinking like, I, I don't want this. I've, I've won the lottery, right? Yeah. I've got money. So one day they come into the office and all my stuff is just like the laptop and stuff. They yeah, just yeah. Uh, at the door. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You've like, returned it. Yeah, yeah. 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 And they'll never see me again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. I kind of like that idea. And because- I think I would go as far as if I saw someone that I used to work with in like the supermarket and they're like, Hey Michael, I'm like, do I know you? <laughs> <laughs> Pretend like that part of your life. I never, never worked at that company. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. Camber, I don't know what you're talking about. 
you if you are my the name, lotto, your servant would be doing your groceries. Mine, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You'll never mix with the plebs of the rest of the world ever again. <laughs> um I yeah, I see I have the same problem in that but but I think even more so only because I uh like the people with I work with, I, I like my boss, and so and I actually haven't been in my position for that long mm. and there's already been somebody else that's left the team. So it'd be like, if I leave the team now, it kind of puts them under extra pressure. They have yeah. to hire now two people. They're already one person behind and they, you know, have to train both of them up while doing the rest of their work. Like, it's not just that it's me being like, you know, see you later. It's like, see you later and sorry about yeah. that. <laughs> so... I would feel really awkward and I don't I honestly don't know because I desperately mm-hmm. if I won the lotto the thing that I number one thing I want to do in the world is never work again yeah. if I could possibly mm. do that. And so I would be really wanting to not work but also feel super obligated that I need to stay around for like just a little bit longer. <laughs> but, so, the, but I cannot imagine. I imagine my motivation totally plummets. <laughs> okay, so so in your scenario, you've won the lottery. Yeah, you're quitting a job by going in profusely apologizing, willing to stay for a transitional period <laughs> yeah, to train yeah. people to replace you. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. it's the dream. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I know. yeah. The, is some. Um, is the idea of like really hating your job more of an American thing? Because I would say here at least we've got pretty good workers' rights mm-hmm. and the salaries are pretty good. I don't know many young people that are like, fuck my job. Yeah. Prefer yeah. not to do it, certainly. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. can't be bothered. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. But yeah. I do think that perhaps our workforce is less exploited mm. than certain industries so. in America. So I yeah. wonder whether like uh, I, you, this would be far bigger in America to be like, fuck you. Yeah, yeah. I'm out of here. Yeah. I have a big banner saying I took a shit in all the printers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But the b- banners are smeared. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> of the shit you took in the, the printer. Shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> should have shat in them after I printed the banner. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, but then the banner has to say, I will shit in the printer. <laughs> If you're reading this banner, <laughs> I have since shat in the printers. Um, <laughs> it's almost looking like it's the best I could think of yeah. to make it functional. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, I think that's it. Um, something that we we kind of haven't spoken about because we just I feel like by chance around our recordings, we haven't spoken about the anti-work uh, sort of subreddit yeah. or oh, yeah. now the new one, which is work reform. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, there was that big thing, uh, obviously about the, one of the mods being interviewed on Fox yep. about the anti-work subreddit. Mm-hmm. And Perhaps not putting the best foot forward for the case. Yeah. Of that subreddit. Yeah. Well, I think I said this to you and maybe some of our other listeners in the discord, but I was like, I'm not surprised that that's what came out of it. Like somebody being interviewed said, because I actually, I found that subreddit and I really liked it. And then I ended up unsubscribing to it, um, which I very rarely do. To I'm just normally, if it's something I'm still not that interested in, I'm like, ah, whatever. But the problem I had with that subreddit was it was just, I feel it, there was a lot of posts that were either A, actually anti-work, like, oh, I just don't want to work for the rest of my life and yeah. nobody should have to work. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. I don't want to work. Just said it earlier. If I won the lottery, I wouldn't work. But the idea that everybody should just be able to not work is stupid and insane and childish. Yeah. And I think there were a decent amount of posts like that. And then the other ones, other posts were saying, this is totally unfair of a business but it was something totally legitimate about one thing I thought in particular was um, saying to people, uh, they posted a notice that was from management that was like, we're no longer accepting any um, leave requests over the busy period. Yeah. Um, You know, like you already had your time. Right. And to me, that's totally legitimate. I think people sometimes confuse um, businesses with like millionaires, yeah, right. But like, 
<laughs> a lot of businesses like get by. The people that own them aren't necessarily super rich. Sometimes that's the case, mm-hmm. but sometimes it's like a mum and dad that's yeah. like trying to make ends meet. Yeah. And they're like, we can't, we've allowed time for people to take leave, which it indicated in the note. And we literally can't close during the busy period because that's when we Peak make business, our most yeah. money. If we don't have enough stuff and we close, we'll go out of business. So we can't let you go and leave. If you want to quit, to take that leave, that's fine. But like, that's what it has to be yeah. because this is our livelihood sort of thing. And I think people totally misinterpret that yeah. and and don't understand how sometimes a business needs to be run and whatnot. And, and so that just really got to me. And I was like, nah, I'm leaving this subreddit. And there was a small percentage, I think, that was about work reform and, and stuff like that. Um, so when the mod got interviewed, I was like, this doesn't surprise yeah. me. Like, <laughs> this is exactly what it was being. It was people that don't want to work and for the most part. Um, but then, uh, so then the subreddit work reform started. And uh, here's a bit interesting thing. I'm not sure if you know. <clears throat> so that started after the Fox News thing debacle. Yep. I was like, this is going to be a little bit more about what sensible people thinking, you know, yep. workers' rights yep. and, and better pay, whatever. But... That sub grew so quickly in such a short period of time and only one person started it. So there was one mod. And Reddit kept getting complaints. Uh, the the like company, Reddit, kept getting complaints uh, from people reporting things that were against the like terms of service of Reddit. And one person couldn't monitor like 400,000 people or some, whatever insane number it was. So... They had to quickly um, get a few different mods on board. And I think maybe Reddit helped them out too, to be like, look, these people are a bit more experienced. And then what happened is those people apparently, and I, and I haven't really looked too much into this, but this is just what I read, was that those people then started trying to create a narrative that like they wanted to control about work reform. Okay. And I think, again, was closer to the anti-work <laughs> mentality. <laughs> so it just went in this circle again. And now it's like been... And I think the guy who started the work reform subreddit got banned from <laughs> those mods and stuff. Like, it just seems like this total shitstorm. Yeah, sounds very, quite toxic. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, my whole point, I think, about that was uh, uh, <clears throat> there's this thing called the Great Resignation that's apparently happening, and I think it's uh, mainly in America. I heard that it was expected to happen here in March, but to me, I didn't really understand that because what I do see on those work reforms and anti-work subreddits, those, the posts that were legitimate were about people, yeah, wanting sort of like decent wage for decent hours, yeah. you know, like just a normal respectable thing. There's even There was even often things about um, like uh, medical insurance as well, which obviously we know the, America doesn't have universal health care. So just these sort of rights that workers want to have when they, they get a job. But a lot of these things we don't experience here. But yeah. what I think has happened, and I don't know for certain, but is... A lot of Australians have read these posts uh-huh. and be like, "Yeah, this yeah. is something that I slightly don't like about my job, and I'm going to resign and be over this too." And I'm like, "I don't, I don't think you, yeah, and the it's, American population are actually agreeing on that. You know, have the same issues. Necessarily. Yeah, it's the, it's the kind of thing where like we both worked at a cinema, like talking like scooping popcorn, cleaning cinema kind of stuff, right? Like pretty yeah. level entry, uh, entry level though. Yeah. Uh, but even though that that was all I did, mm-hmm. um, and I worked a couple of days a week because I was still uh, at uh, I, I was doing a course, yeah, which itself was very cheap, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, given where we live, uh, I could still live out of home mm. perfectly comfortably, yeah, yeah. Working a couple of days there and doing my education, yeah, which I I think is down to our wages are very good, yeah, yeah. We get very good wages here. Mm-hmm. Um, so like it, that's still like d- doing that is still like a $40,000 a year yeah. job, yeah, <laughs> like, exactly. even though it's considered like a very lev- uh, entry level position. Yeah. Yeah. That's you that. can pretty much support yourself. Yeah. You're not going to ever be thriving necessarily, but yeah, you're completely fine. Yeah. Yeah. That's Whereas right. I do know that in uh, other countries that it, people have to have multiple jobs just to get by. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I think we are very lucky here and I think, there is a bit of when it comes in here, like we know someone 
that just doesn't want to work. Yeah, <laughs> They're yeah. just like, I want a job. Yeah. I want to do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I want to do other stuff. Yeah. Um, Honestly, I'm so envious of that. <laughs> but this but person, I think, I will w- get to an age. So we have Super here, which is... Super annuation, yeah. Yeah, which is... Um, 401k. 401k. That's what I was thinking yeah. of, yeah. I- I'm not sure if they yeah. work exactly the same. Yeah, yeah. But basically, it's pa- about retirement pa- money. Part of your wage... Goes into a fund. Yeah. Fund is managed by whatever. Yeah. It recruit interest. By the time you retire, you should have enough money to live off. Yeah. Is the theory. Yeah. And um, I'm worried that this person is not going oh, yeah. to have retirement because at the moment, yeah, like I, you and I could probably do that as well. Get a lower paying position. Actually, this is what uh, Ellen and I had a conversation uh, just last night about this. And I love this as a plan, although I'm now just realizing we maybe didn't factor in super. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> but the idea that if we, let's say we just got a house out of nowhere, owned a house, yep. didn't have to, didn't have any mortgage. It happens. Sometimes people just give you a house. Sometimes it happens. <laughs> Sometimes it happens. Um, we thought about the idea of we get only a job that, pays like maybe because you could live on way less we think oh so yeah you yeah, can yeah. without you can, the mortgage payments and stuff, yeah. yeah so you can maybe earn uh like sixty thousand dollars a year and we thought maybe what we should do is we we just work alternating years so we have entry level ish jobs mm-hmm. um with our skills we feel like we could get a sixty thousand dollar job and then only work once every two years. Okay. And then the next year we can like go on holidays. We can just relax. I was like, I reckon that would totally change your mentality and living. And yeah. Anyway, so if anybody has a house. <laughs> they, they sort of get All we're us. missing from this plan is a house. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and we're good to go. Good to go. Um, but but that would be so great. Um. Anyway, I feel like I was going to circle back to something else. And I've forgotten. We've gone way off tangent. Where, what did this start with? <laughs> Why, how would you quit your job? How would you quit your job? I'm like, Yeah. <laughs> Um, I think we should move on. Okay. To today I advise. So now it's time for today I learned. Today I learned. And also sometimes advice. Uh, this today I learned is by one salty mf. <laughs> <laughs> uh, top build Fast and Furious franchise actors tried to enact contract demands that limit the number of hits the characters took and refused to definitively lose or to definitely lose a fight vin diesel went so far as to devise a tallying system for kicks punches and headbutts now i want to say i i bought this up for the reason that as i was reading that you were nodding your head along (laughs) it's like Cambo knows about this. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, this is the funny thing I find in today I learned, which is um, when your echo chamber gets out to the wider thing. Because mm-hmm. like obviously I'm very into film. And this was a big story when it came out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then slowly it's just filtered through to other people. And someone's like, oh, yeah. today I learned this. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So this came out just before the eighth movie, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which is also the one where The Rock was like, I fucking had it with this. Like, yeah. <laughs> I'm going. It's, um, but yes, it was honestly... It's pretty embarrassing. Yeah. All this, all this stuff, isn't it? A lot of details came out about it. Yeah. And the the so in the Fast and Furious uh franchise, the rock has now left, and apparently it's because him and Vin Diesel butt heads a lot. <laughs> yeah. And I think it's clearly I because imagine Vin Diesel and anyone remotely <laughs> muscly butt heads. <laughs> but I just think if you're of that ilk, right, which is like I'm a leading man action hero yeah. toughest guy in the room yeah and then another toughest guy in the room walks yeah, in yeah. instantly it's a game of egos isn't yeah, it? yeah yeah and <laughs> then it's like so you, he walks into vin diesel's movie and vin diesel's like i'm gonna beat the shit out of you yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. then the rocket back the hell you are <laughs> i'm gonna beat the shit out of you uh, i don't ever remember them fighting did so they have a fight they, they do in number five they fight yeah uh no one wins yeah yeah, um, yeah. well isn't it sorry to interrupt because i do want to get back to that but isn't there another fight with Jason Statham and The Rock? Yep. And that is also a no winner. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Which most, I guess is the point of this. Most of the fights, that. unless you don't know who the actor is, is yeah. a no winner. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, the, the, he did develop a system, which is like a point system. Yeah. And it took things into consideration. It's like, it's not even just like, 
one to one punch or whatever. It's yeah. like, all right, well, Vin may punch him three times, but then The Rock knocks him over. Like that's a bigger yeah, punch yeah. kind of thing. <laughs> that's so good. And th- there's even a bit if you watch the fight in number five. Yeah, there's one bit where Vin throws The Rock through a wall. Yeah. Right? And then they get up and start fighting. And then The Rock throws Vin through. <laughs> <laughs> and I like after knowing that, I'm like, oh, they definitely were like, well, I can't get thrown through a wall. You're not getting thrown through a wall. I like that. I would love if there was a bit of improv fighting in there. So okay. they've, they've been given a, you know, a choreographed fight. But then maybe it gets a bit out of hand because they both got an ego. But at the same time, they're both counting on their fingers. <laughs> <laughs> points that they've got. Yeah. Um, because it mentions headbutts as well. Mm-hmm. And I think a good headbutt has got to be worth a lot of points. Okay. So you, you reckon know. a good headbutt's three punches, four punches? Yeah, I reckon at least four punches. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So and then And I can and I understand why they had <laughs> one person throw the other person through a wall and then back again because I don't know what the equivalent of throwing somebody through a wall is <laughs> points wise yeah yeah you know? well, well like, that's to... a lot of punches this is why we need to call Vin <laughs> Vin yeah. break down your point system for us how many punches is a throw through the wall what's a headbutt headbutt to kick ratio yeah yeah <laughs> so the other thing that I find funny is I, I semi understand it from the egotistical standpoint of Vin Diesel on the rock. Mm-hmm. They're both known as big muscle bound action stars. Yeah. But it's not just their contract. It's like Tyrese Gibson and stuff like right. that. Where it's like, yeah. who's thinking of him? Yeah. <laughs> it's like this, yeah. this is like whatever yeah. muscle bound action star. He's supposed to be like the comedic relief, but I'm pretty sure all of the lead people. Mm. Or, yeah. I don't know if all of them, but the majority of the lead people yeah. all had this stuff in their contract. Yeah. But I, 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 some of them are like, this doesn't make ludicrous. Why are you in here? Like, <laughs> yeah. I wonder if there was like a, well, it started with Vin and The Rock because obviously. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then <laughs> they were just like, well, to make it, like to not run into this issue again. We'll just have that contract for like everyone, uh-huh. you know. Yeah, so right. that anyone we get on board, we're like, hey, just so you know, yeah, you'll never be beaten by any one of these people. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. yeah, I, I wonder if so. Gal Gadot, who's now Wonder Woman, she started her career in the Fast and Furious movies, mm-hmm. and I wonder when when she got to the Batman vs Superman set, she's like, yeah. all right, what's the point system? Yeah. <laughs> What's going on? Yeah. How many punches did he do to him? Okay. <laughs> Where's, uh, how are you guys breaking it up here? Yeah. Because I tell you one thing, I will not be losing. <laughs> yeah. My favorite thing though, if people are watching any Fast and Furious movies or if they come on TV, mm-hmm. uh, something that Stacey and I both enjoy is in every shot that The Rock and Vin Diesel are in, mm-hmm. they're the same height. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which is the greatest special effect of all. Because <laughs> yeah. there's no way Vin Diesel <laughs> yeah. is like 6'3". Yeah. I, reckon, I reckon Vin Diesel is like my height. Yeah, yeah. He's I big. He's wide boy. Yeah, but yeah. I, reckon he's, uh, I reckon he's like my height. Bit, bit shorter, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's funny. I, I don't... The funny thing is, um, like, I see Vin Diesel as the comedic relief for that movie. <laughs> 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 like, he obviously thinks that he's not, but... yeah. Everybody else should be. I don't know. To... We've advocated for this in real life, I know, but I don't know if we've ever advocated for this on the podcast. Mm-hmm. This is actually something that Stacey both advocated for and got us on board. Right. Is look at Vin Diesel's Instagram. Oh, yeah. It is hilarious. It's awesome. <laughs> it's he so doesn't good. know it's funny. Yeah. But it's so funny. The one that I love the most, <laughs> that the, the one that sticks in my mind, Stacey and you've showed me his Instagram plenty of yeah. times, but one was a. Fan image, I think, that he found very and common, then very common. does it all the time. And it's one of those, like, oh, I'm going to say that's like 90s, maybe even 80s images where there's two photos. One Super that's kind post, of, in yeah. The, yeah, a super erosion on top of each other. One's like a little bit faded in yeah. the background in the sky. Yeah. The other one is him, like, you know, a big... Uh, or, or just maybe like a huge portrait of his face, yeah, you know, yeah. looking off into the distance, <laughs> like super cheesy and gross. Very and weird. then, and then, like most of them do, has the words "family" across <laughs> the top. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the weirdest one I saw was a, it was a picture of Vin and his co-star from Fast and Furious, who plays uh, his sister. Yeah. Obviously, like a still from the movie, and then superimposed over the top in the sky were the eyes of Paul Walker. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I was just like, oh, this is so weird. It's so it's weird. It's so weird. <laughs> uh, um, 
Yeah, anyway. anyway. He also sings a lot on his Instagram, which is very funny because oh. he cannot sing. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. He just kind of does deep grumbles. Yeah. <laughs> Not too different to how he speaks. Has he released any music? Yes. Though? Oh, yes. okay. It's, so he is like Jeremy Renner in uh, that. <laughs> Jeremy Renner. Which is a better singer? Jeremy Renner. Jeremy or Renner Diesel? looks like Bob Dylan compared to Vin Diesel. <laughs> oh, okay. So if you ever want to get to see how weird the pandemic got, look at, I think it's from, I want to get this right. I think it's from the Kelly Clarkson show. Mm-hmm. Kelly Clarkson now hosts like a daytime talk show. Right. Which really, in oh which my God, that's amazing. During no the idea. depth of the pandemic, her audience were just a bunch of screens in the audience. Yeah, so yeah. people on screens in seats in an audience yeah. in which Vin Diesel also appeared on a screen on the stage promoting his new song as people in the audience on their screens dance to it. <laughs> okay. It's, oh my God. It's, it's like, it's like, an art piece. Yeah. <laughs> Just yeah, how yeah. weird it is. Yeah. Just like, You're this like, is so awkward. I, the song is terrible. <laughs> no one's that into it. Everyone's yeah. weirdly dancing on like a Zoom screen. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't understand the art, <laughs> but I will pretend <laughs> to enjoy it because obviously there's deeper meaning that, I, that I'm overlooking. Uh, yeah, that's so funny. Um, anyway, looking forward to the next Fast and Furious movie. Without The Rock, though, I don't know. What he, well, he's doing that other one. Are they continuing the spin-off with Hobbs and Shaw? I have no idea. Mm. No idea. I hope so. I reckon Vin probably tried to kill it, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. Like, he definitely would have been like, no more of these. Yeah, yeah. Um, it, it, I reckon it will have been like, you would need to, because the Fast and Furious movies make a lot of money. Like, yeah. I think two of them have made over a billion individually. Yeah, Like, yeah. they make a lot of money. Mm-hmm. I reckon if the Hobbs and Shaw spin-off made... 400 million mm-hmm. Vin will be like you got the billion dollar ones you got the 400 million dollar ones one of them can continue yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no but see I, I think they could so easily get rid of Vin and still continue don't you reckon they did it like, for two movies to me well yeah <laughs> <laughs> like I just feel like yeah I mean I guess well, I th- guess th- if that's kind of your point right like if he's only in the billion dollar but is he I don't know. He, he owns not... it. He owns a chunk of it. I think he produces them all and stuff. Oh, I reckon he's got. Okay. He's got more ownership of it than people realize. Right. I, I would suspect. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a thing that he likes to do. In fact, he came back to the fan- Fast and Furious franchise so he would own the rights to the Riddick movies, like Pitch Black and stuff. Oh, that's right, right. And then I, I, I would suspect that over the years he has gained more and more control of Fast and Furious movies, which is why they're insane. Um, propaganda for Vin Diesel. Yeah. <laughs> if yeah, you watch yeah. them, Vin Diesel is the best guy in the world. He's yeah. so strong. He's the strongest guy. He's the smartest guy. Yeah. Everyone loves him. He's so sexy. Yeah. They're just weird propaganda that he makes. He gives himself a cinematic hand job. Yeah. I hate that that's why I love it so Me much. Me too. <laughs> so that's why when you say get I, rid of Vin, I'm like, I'm interested. I'm yeah. so uninterested. I want to see how far this guy's yeah. ego goes. <laughs> yeah. It's funny because. He thinks we love it for a different <laughs> no. reason. He thinks we love it really earnestly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I would love to give him on the show, honestly. That'd be so good. Um, okay. Uh, should I do a. An- no, you know what? Let's get into shower thoughts. Shower thoughts, thoughts, thoughts. Shower thoughts, thoughts, thoughts. Shower thoughts, thoughts, thoughts. Shower thoughts, thoughts, thoughts. This shower thought is by Wafazari. A 36-year-old has spent 18 years as an adult, so they are an adult adult. (laughs) Did you ever think about the fact that we might, like, evolve much like a Pokemon? So... After a time? So, okay, then. 18 years is... is Adulthood. Yeah. And then 36 is second adulthood. Every 18 years. Because we've been measuring things... Like idiots <laughs> yeah. in decades. Oh my god! Which two decades you passed adult? Yeah, yeah. So either make adulthood twenty. Yeah. In which case, midlife crisis is forty. That sounds. That's pretty much what people expect. Yeah. Thirty six. Yeah. Double adult. So can you have a double adult crisis and then a few years later have a midlife midlife crisis? crisis. Mm. Plus the age, life expectancy keeps going up. So midlife crisis needs to be pushed back. It's like fifty now. Yeah, almost. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Late, late forties probably. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I was thinking it's funny that if, like, because if you do look back on, um, you know, times like pre-18, you you look at adults and you're like, oh, 
they've like just got more I feel like they just understand the world a bit more. Yeah. You know? And I haven't thought about that for a long time. That like people older than me understand the world a lot more, you know, mm. because I feel like we all, we at, all a, at a certain that, point you have a basic understanding and some people might mo- know more than you, but you know more than them in yeah. different things. I, I was thinking about this um, in some of our friends. Uh, in fact, a couple of our friends are all having kids. Yep. And uh, one of the dads is like a very handy guy. Mm-hmm. So he's always building stuff and whatever. And I, I even said to Stacey, I was like, See, that's what I always picture dads as, right? Like yeah, my dad yeah. is the same. My dad's been a builder my whole life. Yeah. So i am always pictured dads as someone that'll fix stuff or very handy and whatever. And I'm like, I don't know if I have the like that dad skill yeah, to be yeah. a dad. And she was like, I think that every dad has different skills. So then I was, I'm like a tech dad. Yeah, yeah. So if anything's broken technology-wise, I'm definitely, that's my thing. Right? Yeah, like, yeah, Like yeah. I'll always be fixing whatever around the house technology-wise and whatever. Yeah, yeah. Whereas like, oh yeah, I never thought of that. I just yeah. thought of adults as like people who they, they just know how to fix stuff. Yeah. That's that's what they do. Yeah, that's true. Um But I like the idea that I get to the age of thirty six and be like and then just have my mind blown as this like extra wisdom comes into my body <laughs> because I've turned into an adult adult and I'm like, Oh my god, I used to think that I knew just as much as any other adult. Turns out God's not real. <laughs> I, 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 I would say for, I know cause we have some younger listeners that listen to this show. Mm. If you possibly think, well, like Nelson suggested, uh, adults seem to have stuff figured out and whatever. So they're all on a level playing field kind of thing. Once you get to adulthood. Yeah. The secret is that we all realize that no one has it figured out. Yeah. And we all just go, this is, this is just how it is. That's the wisdom yeah. that you, that you, you know, learn yeah. is, uh, yeah. Yeah. We're all, we're all internally screaming. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is next one is by Philosophum um, ninety three. Not caring what other people think about you and minding your own business is a real life superpower. I think this is true. Yeah, I th- I think if totally and completely right because. I try, and I, I think we sort of both try to not let what other people think of us get yeah. to us or, or you know, we'll try and mind our own business. But there'll be times where it's just like the one thing somebody said or the thing that you're like, I really need to interject here because you're talking about something so wrong and, you know, couldn't yeah. mind my own business. But yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> I actually think this podcast has helped a bit with that. I think that we've always been pretty open on this show, just talking about like parts of our lives that <laughs> people that are close to us probably don't know. Yeah. yeah. But there definitely has been like thinkers like, I think that when we first started, I was probably a little more hesitant and reserved. Mm. And then as I've slowly opened up, I've been like, oh, nothing's different if I do. Yeah. You know what <laughs> I mean? Like things haven't changed. And now it's just like, we're pretty open and honest mm. about all things on this show. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Mm-hmm. Including our not wanting to do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, That's so, very clear. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Don't that was like that. episode five, <laughs> I think. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I think that, I think it, I think it is a bit of a, like, I would say that this podcast, and I don't want to test this, yeah. is pretty impervious to criticism. Yeah. <laughs> because we're like, well, yeah, you know. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard to say your shit when we're like, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or big time. <laughs> um, I, yeah, yeah. I, I actually think that this podcast has made me worse in the sense that I found, and in fact, my uh, girlfriend sort of pulled me up on it the other day. I think I interject a lot more in conversation and I 100% put it down to this podcast. And I actually hate that about myself. (laughs) Like in a, yeah, in a sort of group setting, I feel like I'll just sort of cut in with like my story or something. And and I'm so certain that I did that way less Mm. before this podcast and now I've I do it. I just now, got used to it. I need to self-evaluate whether I do that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. no. It's time to get reflective. Yeah. Um, anyway, here's another one. Yes. Uh, oh, maybe I'll do this one. Hmm. 
Mm. Yeah, I like this one. This is okay. funny. Uh, this is by Chatty McChatface. <laughs> oh, that was good in itself. If you stare at the sun long enough, you get a dog. <laughs> <laughs> I like to think that Chatty yeah. thinks it works with no steps in between. <laughs> staring, staring. Oh, my eyes are going. Excuse uh, me, sir. Would you like uh, a dog? Oh, my God. I got a dog. <laughs> yeah. Hilarious. It actually, I have to, I'm a little bit embarrassed. It took me a little while to get this. I was like, why is it? Oh, yeah. That's uh, sort of technically yeah, yeah. the truth. <laughs> yeah. This more, I, I would, I would suspect more nuance to the guide dog program than like. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if every blind yeah, person. Does every blind person no, no, no. I feel like it would be expensive. They got to yeah, train them yeah, and yeah. stuff. I, I I did a little bit of work several years ago with uh, Guide Dogs Victoria, mm-hmm. and there's like quite a process. And not every blind person needs mm-hmm. a dog. Yeah, yeah. Or wants a dog. Yeah. Or like yeah. Not me, Cambo. <laughs> it's it's not like if you're blind, they make you have a dog. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, some people it just doesn't work for. Some people canes work for. Um, it's I think a little bit more common. You, you could be Daredevil. Yeah, you could be Daredevil if you if you really put your mind to it. Yeah, yeah. Um, I I believe dogs are a little bit more common in people that like live alone. Makes right. a lot makes a lot more sense, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Less yeah. people around to assist and you. Companionship. Companionship. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If you in a pinch, you got a meal. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it just makes sense. Yeah. Um, right here, uh, Cambo. I think now we should get into podnapping. Podnapping. Now, Cambo. Yes. I've come into this room and you were silent. Yes. You were meant to vamp for a bit. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, okay. So there's a smaller silence in the edit. I had to make a small edit here. Oh, no. Okay. Um, of which I have been suspicious for a long time. <laughs> okay, yeah. To that, the whole episode. Yeah, yeah. The podnapping theme starts and Nelson gets out of his chair and goes, Continue. <laughs> and walks out of the room, in which I'm like, no, 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 no. I smell so fishy here. So I have sat in silence and oh. protest. What if that was my podnapping? Did I just see how long you sit in silence? <laughs> it's a social experiment. Yeah. It's been four days. <laughs> um, okay. So Cam, anyway, this is podnapping. We're in this pod. my, oh, yes. Podnapping. <laughs> we're in Apple We take a topic of conversation or a segment for another thing. We do it ourselves. Yep. Now, Cambo. Um, Oh, I don't know how to introduce this. Okay. I, for a while, have had this idea. Mm-hmm. Um, because there's a certain show that we like to watch yep. occasionally. And I thought it'd just be really hilarious if we did this show. Okay. The show is called... Yes. Hot Ones. Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> so I've enlisted <laughs> Stacy's help. Yep. And in case you don't know what this show is, there is a host who interviews a celebrity and they eat progressively hotter and hotter, hotter wings. and hotter wings. Yep. What's really funny about this is not really funny, slightly amusing, uh, is we were at a Bucks a little while ago and in conversation, the hot ones came up and you said, ha, huh, should be a pod napping. And you probably don't remember, but I quickly shut down that thought and changed the conversation because I had and already then, bought the hot sauces. And then you ran away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> crying. <laughs> no, I had already bought the hot sauces and I was prepared to do this uh, for us. So Stacy has been making these hot wings okay. while, we've, uh, while we've been recording. Do you need a new glass of water? Uh, well, what I've done is I've actually got us both a chocolate milk. Okay. Because okay. I think that'll help. Sure. Uh, Stacey said she, she needed a few more minutes, but I think she should be in, in any second now. Sure. Um, but what we're going to do is, uh, today I put some extra AMAs in there. Oh, So I thought great. what we'd do is there's five AMAs. Yep. We're going to eat the first three without reading any. Okay. Then we eat the fourth one, then read the first AMA. Okay. And by the time we get to the last AMA, we'll be up to the spiciest chicken wing <laughs> and you'll be in the tears. By the way, I slipped at the start of the show uh-huh. that uh, I bought you some serviettes and then I quickly changed to tissues. Oh, yeah, you did. Because I did actually bring a lot of serviettes <laughs> too. Uh, okay. Because it gets quite messy. I think tips just so, we, just so we're clear. Yep. Be careful of putting your fingers in your eyes. eyes. Yeah. That's number one tip, mm-hmm. I think. 
Or on the tip of your penis. Or on the... Oh, don't touch your penis. <laughs> oh, no. Um, I think uh, we have to get to the end. Okay. <laughs> We have uh, to commit to not, the end. Not a policy on the show, but okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, in fact, he often says on the show, "Do you need to stop?" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, no. All right, Stacy. Thank you for your help. For liability oh. reasons, I'm going to get you guys to eat a piece of bread. <laughs> we have to eat a piece eat a, of bread eat a piece first. of bread first. Okay. Oh. Oh. Is It'll this meant to me line our stomach Maybe. with? Stuff. Okay, so we've okay. been instructed to eat a piece of bread before. Okay. Okay, here you go. Mmm. Mmm. Now, will this mean that when it comes out the other end, it won't be as spicy, perhaps? Oh, <laughs> maybe this is a um, a spice condom. <laughs> in a way, you know. Yeah. It's a protective layer. Mm-hmm. Apologies, we eat a lot on this podcast. We <laughs> we do. Well, now we're about. Here they are. Okay. Oh my god, this is gonna be amazing. <gasps> this is number one. Oh, thank you. You even wrote the names. Oh my god, you've Bring done such names. an amazing job. Thank I you. I basted the first four. Okay. There's eight altogether. <laughs> Should I be talking closer into the microphone? Yeah. Um, I'm actually scared it's gonna kill you. <laughs> so the last four I've left playing, and you can dip yourself. <laughs> Did you say oh. there's eight altogether? There is eight. Yeah. Isn't cool. that what they do? Yeah, that? I thought you'd do a smaller version oh, for Podnapping. <laughs> <laughs> Given that Podnapping should probably go for 10 minutes. Yeah. Eat it quickly, Cameron. Okay. <laughs> I'm going um, to preemptively open my milk as well. Yeah, smart, smart, smart. Because you don't want to be open it with chilly hands. Mm. Okay. That is smart. Oh, you ate, the, you ate a second piece of bread. Okay. I'm, good, I'm whacking the bread in. I'm also getting serviettes ready. Okay. Napkins for our American friends. Napkins. Okay. I'm thinking first one is going to be easy peasy. Yeah. Okay. So this is... Maybe we can... Katana chili pepper sauce. Okay. Pepper sauce. Oh, please. please. Now, these are bigger wings than I was expecting. Yeah. I tried to get smaller ones. <laughs> <laughs> so if I don't eat... Only because we've got eight coming. You don't have to eat all of them. Yeah, yeah. If I don't eat all of Just it... Just like the show. Just a bite. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Uh, shall, shall, we, shall we tap chickens? Tap, tap? the chicken. No. Bon appetito. Bon appetit. Okay. Okay. But I would say barely any spice. Mm. It's quite nice. Yeah, yeah. It's nice. It's like a... um. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait a second. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It is starting to heat up now. It's like a um, a hotter sriracha style heat. Oh yeah. Oh, you reckon hotter? I reckon sriracha would be. I'm gonna say on par with sriracha. Oh, yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe, okay. maybe I'm undervaluing sriracha. Thank you, Stacey. Okay. So okay. let's use this one as the dumping plate if we need to. Okay, main plate dumping. I'm happy to go back to these at the end if I'm hungry. You know. Yeah, definitely. Keep yeah, them. That's quite nice. <laughs> okay, this next one. Number two called Fiji Fire. Okay. You've, we've already upped to the name from yeah, yeah. chili pepper, ugh, whatever, nothing. To this fire. one's fire. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And this is number two of eight. Number two okay. of eight. Here we go. Okay. Uh, tap, tap chickens. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. That's good. Okay. So, so far, I and I, I'm waiting for this to grow on me. I think less hot than number one. Do you feel that? Yeah. I feel like it's less hot. Mm-hmm. 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 So I think f- so. That's weird, isn't it? Yeah. It's quite nice. I actually really like yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. It's got a nice <laughs> flavor. And again, I, I'm tempted to go and eat more, but then uh, part of me is like, six more coming. Six wait. more coming. <laughs> <laughs> but just wait. And remember, yeah. we've got AMAs too. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, we're doing... I'm not sure. I've got fingers that I would normally lick and I'm very uncertain about <sighs> yeah. whether I should do that or yeah, not. Yeah, it's... Uh, okay. okay. So, you've, the third one is now, has now been dropped off by Stacey. Thank you, Stacey. Thank you, Stacey. Uh, this is Dingo Sauce. Dingo Sauce. Super Hot Sriracha. Oh. Okay. Super Hot Sriracha. Okay. Interesting. Number three. Cheers. Let's dig in. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. That's really nice. I feel like that has a bit more of a like. Oh, there was like a small sweet element to that mm. when I, when I first bit in. Oh, but it's yeah, in, yeah. in the back of the throat that one. Yeah, it's getting it's getting a bit getting there in, in the yeah. in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, oh, Stacy. They're, they're coming thick and fast. Oh boy. Okay, so now after this one, mm-hmm. okay, we, we start the AMA. Uh, then we, we do need to clean like, at least my fingers because I need to open my phone. Okay, yeah, and uh, chickeny fingers. Will, does not a uh, touch screen phone. I'm going to suck my thumb. I'm doing it. Okay. Oh, we did it. <laughs> not really that. Because <laughs> now you've got a mixture of all kinds of hot sauces on your fingers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I Because it also... Oh, yeah. I think that made it way worse. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You, d- you don't, don't do that. Okay. Don't do that. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so we're, we're going to do number four, which is... Uncle Mungo's Mango Reaper. Mango Reaper. Okay. And then after this, we jump into the AMAs. Yeah. Okay. Great. I'm just, by the way, I'd also like to say, sometimes you see tough celebrities that are like, I'm not going to use the milk. I'm thinking about doing that. At number I, I'll three. I'll be honest, I forgot about my milk. <laughs> at number three, I'm thinking maybe I'll be okay to not use the. Yeah. But you're thinking about going milk. No, not going. Oh, I'm, not I'm, going milk. I'm oh, right, be one of these right. brave people. Oh, okay. Okay. I, I just Cheers. kind of, I just love a chocolate milk. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Part of me just wants to drink it because it's there. All right, here we go. At the end. Here we go. Took a second bite of that one for some reason. Yeah. Oh, I can feel it's coming. <clears throat> I can feel it's going to be coming. Mm. Okay. Now, is this where we jump into the AMA? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I reckon that went up a level. I think it did go up a level. <gasps> I've got some on my lips now, too, which sucks. Oh, boy. Do you want to introduce AMA? Okay. <sighs> this is Ask Me Anything. We're yep. listeners of a show, just like you, listener. You can write in and ask us anything you want. <sighs> it's on my lips. Yeah, it, it is on the lips. It's on the... Ah, okay. That's the last part. What was that one again? Mango. The mango one. Who oh, are the mango one? <laughs> the mango one? Oh, no, it's un- Uncle Mango. Mongo's Mango something. Did it have mango? I don't know. I can't taste the mango. That one's, that one's pretty hot. Okay. Thank you, Stacey. I got an email here from Shadowed. It says, I just wanted to say... I love the podcast. Ugh, we and, hate it. We hate it. <laughs> and wanted to ask whether you like pineapples on pizzas or not. <sighs> Great question, Shadow. I like... Oh, I almost went the milk. Are you going to milk? Are you going to milk? I've run out of water. Do you want some of this water? Is water a loophole for you? Because you can have my water and I can have milk. Nah. I'm okay. not doing it. Okay. <sighs> do you like pineapple on pizza? Yeah, I do like pineapple on pizza. I changed my mind on this. Oh, you guys straight to the milk. Oh, that's good. Oh, oh don't, oh, don't, don't, don't so, do so it. So relieving. I can talk fine now. I didn't like pineapple on pizza for a long time. Yeah. And I think it was purely a stance of, I think it's wrong. Yeah. More than taste. Okay. And one day, I think I was just eating a pizza and I just didn't realize it had pineapple on it. And I thought, yeah. oh, this is good. What is it? <laughs> it was <laughs> sweet element to it, yeah. <laughs> and it was just pineapple on pizza. And now, I don't necessarily go for pineapple pizzas myself, mm-hmm. but they don't deter me. Yeah, right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I, I quite you're like right. it. You're breathing in a lot, Nelson. A lot of that happening over there. I really, I shouldn't have got on my lips. I need to get it off my lips. <laughs> um, yeah, I think, I think pineapple on pizza is is good. It's a yummy, yum, yum. Yeah. Okay, we have now graduated to the <laughs> the the next step, which is like dipping, dipping them, dipping them. So number five is called. The pr- the Chili Project Signature Blend. Signature Blend. <clears throat> okay, you ready? I think it's going to be so much harder dipping them, but that's fine. Okay, here we go. Okay. I've dipped, okay. and I'm ready to I'll chew look. whenever you are. That one back. Oh, that was a good idea. You broke it up. Yeah. Okay. I have one big dollop right on the corner here. I feel like I haven't got the chicken part. I've only got... Like bone in the sauce. I need to re-dip. Okay. 
Oh, you're you're real. You I smothered think. it way more than I did. I just did one big dollop on the corner. You ready? That's good. Okay. Here we Wait. Go. Cheers. Okay. okay. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, that tastes like a sweet chili. I was going to say like raspberry hints or something. Yeah, yeah, kind of fruity. Not as immediately hot as mango. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Their, oh, their lips are just ever ever burning, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Constantly burning. At the back, <sighs> okay, here's what's happened. Yep. Oh, yeah. Because I, <laughs> because I dipped it. The front of my mouth doesn't burn as much because the sauce went straight to the back. Yeah. I've got this back part of my mouth <laughs> that's just burning. I've got a ring of fire on my lips and a very specific point in the back of my throat. Okay. That's what's going on at the moment. Uh, but next day, mate. Next day, mate. Good day, cunts. It actually says good day. Yeah. You have not responded to my AMA on Discord. Whoops. So I'm officially writing on by email. I wish to be a fucking podcast listener by way of naming my own task. I have already done the task 14,000 times for the past 19 days in the past two episodes. I blinked as the task. If it is so that you must name me as fucking podcast listener, I will wait until the next episode when I am featured. I feel it only fair that I should be of that... Elite title because it's only fair. I did the task and I will be patient. Okay. Um, now, before we, before we respond to this, I've made a mistake in, in my, in my, in my um, distracted haze of thing, sticky fingers on the phone. Yeah. As I, I have the email on my phone uh-huh. and as I went to go uh, back, yeah. I think I archived the email. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. So, uh, for this to continue, you may have to resend it. As okay. You, as, okay. Um, so, who, who's that from? Uh, oh, sorry. Regards from your London correspondent, Shell Animal. Shell Animal. Okay. Um, it's look. We're not going to take anything away from you from trying. <laughs> uh, you've certainly taken a swing. Yeah. Uh, which we can appreciate. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know what has led you to believe you can set your own challenge. Yeah, what <laughs> Who may, who's thought that that could be a possibility? Normally, uh, we assign it based on if people have done things for us. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If you look at the history of it, generally, <laughs> it's people that have helped us out in, in some way. Yeah. Um, selfish, sure, but I'll be honest, the whole show was pretty selfish. <laughs> yeah. Um, should we, re- we won't reveal what it is, but perhaps we'll say that there, there is something we have decided on apropos of absolutely nothing that if someone does it, uh, yeah, uh, they will instantly get <laughs> this sort of a secret, but yeah. difficult way, difficult way. Uh, I would say hard to guess. Yeah. We're never going to tell you what it is. Yeah. Um, blinking. I'm, un- I'm afraid. Is not it. Not it. Not, not it. it. You tried. We tried. Okay. Shall we move to the next one? Let's move to the next one. What's number six? Number six is Reaper's Ghost Sauce. Mm. I like the sound of that. Reaper's Ghost Sauce. Okay. Okay. Right. This one I'm going to try and actually dip a bit more. Oh, oh. <laughs> that's. Uh, I'm doing it. You, you've gone. I just. I keep doing the dollop on the bit of chicken. I know I'm gonna bite. <laughs> yeah, You're not yeah. really committing to this. All right. I'm just gonna. I'm. Are you I'm, not, I'm not doing all of it. <laughs> there was just a big chunk. Of, okay. Look, I'm going back to the camera uh, to witness that okay. I haven't sh- sh- done sh- wiped sh- that much off. Chicken? Okay. Cheers. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, this is a different kind of heat I can feel coming. It's like a try a heat. Mm. It which is, is the one it I, is, I isn't this it? This is the one I struggle with more, I think. Temperature heat, mm. I can kind of take. Dry heat, it kind of gets into your breathing a bit. Can I say this one? I think oh, I just all the others, I, breathe I think all the others haven't tasted 
actually, uh, the, all the others have actually tasted quite nice. I have yeah. to admit, I didn't actually like the taste of this one too much. Mm. You don't hear that on the hot ones because it, they're probably sponsored by other sources. <laughs> yeah. It, uh, I think they make most of them at this point. Right, yeah. Uh, it didn't really have a flavor necessarily. Are you doing okay? <laughs> I got like a... Oh, <laughs> <sighs> um, were you able to resend that email? What I did was I labeled it and put it in the templates folder. See if it shows up. Uh, oh, my God. That one is really getting to me. Oh, we've got ice here. I'm tempted to go to the ice. <laughs> you are you are you are struggling with that one. Yeah. Okay. Um, the dry heat. The dry heat's what get me. Okay. Uh, got one here. Uh, says hello, gentlemen. I listened to your episode where Cambo talked about durians. When I was younger, I liked the smell of durians. It smelled fruity and flowery. Uh, my eyes are starting to a little bit talk. Yeah, yeah. Uh, now, in more recent years, durian smells like a mix of locker room socks and a bowl of luxury fruit. Okay. Despite that, I still like the taste and texture of durian. Maybe it's because of my Filipino blood. Okay. Just a quick question. Is any of this going in, Nelson? Not really. Okay. It's about durian. Enjoyed the durian. smell of yoga. Doesn't like it now. Blood. Likes the it. taste. Hey, <laughs> May 15. Did you know many delicious uh, delicacies are foods that were eaten out of desperation in times of hunger and became traditional foods over time? Are you picky eaters? Uh, what is one thing you've tried that you'll never eat again? Your Chicago and straight and Filipino correspondent. Okay. Actually, it doesn't have a name here on the email. Do you know oh, it's, um, it's, uh, <laughs> who's our straight correspondent always? I can't think so. Yeah. It's, it's really hard to remember anything. Um, I think I reckon that one, you, you did quite a big dab of that one. Yeah, and I reckon you're 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 now way worse off than me. Okay, because I that that dry heat is starting to pass for me now. Yeah, Jeremy, so, Jeremy, Jeremy, Jer- Jeremy, thank you. <sighs> um, <laughs> okay, are you sure you don't want any chocolate milk or no. ice? Okay, no, okay, no. okay. Answer the question, Kevin. <laughs> uh, am I a picky eater? I was a really picky eater when I was younger. I'm still, compared to you and compared to Stacey, I'm still a picky eater. Yeah. But I'm far less picky than I used to be. I grew up with a dad. My dad is a notoriously picky eater, and he also sets all the meals for our family yeah. because of that. So I grew up as a picky eater. Yeah. Not so much anymore. That being said, straight up, I just don't like mushrooms. That's yeah. that's my food. That right. I just yeah. don't like it. Yeah. Onions, um, I avoid. Ten, they, this was like a thing that used to happen to me as a kid where they would kind of make my throat a bit irritated a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Um, I actually don't really care about the taste of them so much. If they're in stuff, I don't really care. But yeah. mushrooms are just something I'm like, I just don't like it. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm not really a picky eater. I'll, I'll eat anything. I think there's things where like, if I had the choice not to eat it again, I just wouldn't. Mm-hmm. But I also wouldn't like... If I was at somebody's house or even at a restaurant, I got served a dish. I can't even think of what the thing is, but you know, that, that I don't really want, but I would just eat it just because I'm like, nothing phases me too much. So I'll just, just whatever. I'll just yeah. eat it. Yeah. I, I like would... a super spicy chicken wing, for example. <laughs> I'm not going to go straight back to this, <laughs> <laughs> but if somebody put it on my plate, I'll be like, okay. I guess I'll eat it. <laughs> I, I, I would also say on the point of durian, I agree. Smells awful. Um, but when I was eating durian candies, tastes, tastes fine. Yeah, tastes, yeah, tastes right. Quite nice. Yeah. Okay. Number seven, Cambo. We're up to. I like how I like the names of these. This one is called the Rapture. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna actually go for this one. Out. Okay. I'm gonna try and do the same amount. It's worn off a little bit, I have to admit. Oh, but it's still there. Oh, it's still there. Okay. Okay. Sorry, I'm back on mic now. I was just trying to source up the chick. <laughs> source up the chick. Okay. Here we go. Okay, the rapture. The rapture. I'm showing the amount I've dipped. Okay. Yeah, every time. Cheers. Cheers. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, I can feel it coming. I know I definitely got it on my lips just then. That's a risk. (laughs) (laughs) 
Okay. Don't, don't breathe in too sharply. This one this is a very breathy one. Like, See, it, this one tastes better than the last one. I, I just want to say. As I'm breathing in and out, I'm feeling it. Yeah. There. I think that maybe the mistake I'm making is I really want to get the full experience of the hotness. So I'm actually eating it. And... <sighs> And like swishing it around my mouth a little bit, because <laughs> I want to make sure. I'm I actually taking a second dip because that one feels like it passed really quickly. This one did pass quickly. I think. Okay, Should I just do that too? Took another bite. Who does it get on my breath? Oh, yeah. But I reckon within as it goes, two to three breaths. Okay. It passes quite quickly. Okay. God, there's so much goddamn chicken on this plate. They never really show you that in the show, huh? All the gross half-eaten chicken wings yeah, yeah. just sitting there. There's no close-up afterwards of that. Okay. <clears throat> I did a bigger bit of that. Okay. I'm tempted to say that... Uh, that one maybe is hotter, but it passes It passes here. quite quickly. I mean, it's still there. <laughs> it'll it'll be there. Wrong. It'll be there for eternity. For eternity. Uh. Okay, read the email, Cambo. Is it your turn? No. I'm pretty sure I just read. I did the last one. I think I think you answered first, though. Didn't you? No. I. Oh, shit. No, it is me. Okay. <laughs> Hello, gentlemen. This is by Jeremy as well, by the way. My last AMA, I mentioned I was Filipino. Oh, talking makes it worse. <laughs> My brother took a DNA test. And found out that we are roughly 96 Filipino and less than 96% (laughs) Filipino and less than 1% Spanish. I shouldn't have had that second bit. (laughs) Sorry, I feel like that was my encouragement. Yeah, you did. Because I was like, yeah, you're right. I could go more. (laughs) If you don't know, the Philippines. It's just staying. It's just staying in the back of my mouth. I have one bit right at like the back of the top of my mouth. I have the same thing. Okay. Okay. If you don't know, the Philippines were colonized by Spain, so we were surprised by this. We have a Spanish last name, so we've always thought we had more Spanish blood. I've always attributed my height, 6'1", 186 centimeters, and super hairiness to Spanish genes. But that's not the case at all. Many Filipinos are shorter than average and not very hairy. Hey, May 16. How tall are you? Have you taken a DNA test that gave you unexpected results? The Chicago and straight and Filipino and tall correspondent, Jeremy. So my my height is in contention, right? Because uh, every now and then at the gym they bring in a scanner, <clears throat> they measure your height, they measure your body fat percentage, all that kind of stuff, and right. they always do that electronic height thing where it taps the top of your head and goes back up. Right. Did it one time, exactly one hundred and eighty centimeters. Right. Yeah. Did it the next time, one seventy nine. Okay. <laughs> It was like, where so did funny. that centimeter go? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I'm between there. I'm yeah. somewhere between 179 and 180. It's funny because... Um, <coughs> excuse me. I actually thought... Oh, sorry, I spat a little bit then. Um, I actually thought that originally I was like 180 something. Like a low, like 181, 182. I remember feeling in a form at a doctor's office and then... I got there and actually did, uh, you know, they, they measured me. And uh, I think they said 179 because I think we're basically the yeah, same yeah, height, much, maybe yeah. even 178. And I remember when she told me, she was like, oh, your height's actually, you know, like 178. As if I would be like offended, like <laughs> like I would have Vin Diesel ego yeah. where I'm like, no, I'm bloody 185. <laughs> let me tell you. I'm six foot. But I was like, I imagine so many people probably get that. Yeah, I, I assume people always round up. Yeah, that that. Oh no, I thought like I, I mean, a, a lot of people <laughs> are like so sensitive about it mm-hmm. that that medical professionals have to be apologetic <laughs> when they're doing their yeah. measuring because they don't want to offend anyone that's like thinks that they're you know maybe way less than they do or are taller than they actually are stuff like that. From my viewpoint, what are we about a meter apart? <laughs> yeah, I can see that you're sweating. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sweat. I actually, Quite speaking of jeans and stuff, in my jeans, uh, we sweat a lot. My brother and I, we sweat a lot. Yeah, it wasn't 
because Allingham is traditionally like an English last name, but wasn't yeah. it Sweatingham before? Yes. And then they changed it to be more yeah, you know, gentrified yeah. and fancy. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, in mine, I've got a very, I don't even have confirmation of this actually now that I think about it. Yeah. Um, which is, I believe somewhere in our family line, there is some Maori. Um, oh, right. It's something like, it, it's very tangential. It's like my granddad's, Grandma, I think. Right. And I think she was half Mary, I think. So it's like yeah. super diluted. Yeah. But somewhere uh, along my family, um, there is Mary. With the rest of it is like as white as can be. Mm-hmm. England, Ireland, Scotland. Yeah. Um, but I do tan pretty well. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, which is untraditional for, that's I would nice. say, for <laughs> things like that. Yeah, and yeah. maybe that's the small sliver of Mary. Right. That's funny. Yeah. I, I, I mean, I'm half Italian, um, as in. Not 50%. I don't know. My mother is Italian. My father is just Australian for a few generations back. And then, yes, probably English. Um, I haven't done a DNA test. But, yeah, I imagine with my mother being European, I imagine I've got a bunch of different stuff yeah, yeah, yeah. in me. And also, if your dad's from England, they colonized everywhere. So oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a real mixed bag. Yeah. Um, last one. I'd love to do a DNA test. Yeah, yeah. last one. Okay. Here's what I'm going to do. I know this is crazy. Yep. I'm going to do heaps. Okay. All right, that's nuts. But the last one is kind of worn off. Yeah, yeah, it has a bit, hasn't it? Yeah, and it makes it, me it, think it, that it, it, they it do them really, f- the really fast on the hot ones. Yeah, and I reckon it's maybe because they're like got to keep the heat up because otherwise you get to this point and you're like, oh, they just got used to it. But it's more fun. You do they're... see them get their composure back a little bit, a little bit. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. And I wonder whether that's just through like because they've been filming for ten minutes or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In the edit, it's like four. Yeah, yeah. All right, I, I might do the same. You, it's a small bowl, so you dip first, then I'll, I'll, I'll dip after okay. you. This is called Zamfire Reaper Scorpion. <laughs> They've just done as many cool words as possible. They should have put By death the way, in there somewhere. Uh, we don't have the Scoville levels here. Oh, yeah. But maybe we'll quickly do an edit at the end. Mm-hmm. I'll grab all the bottles, we'll yeah. put them out here, and we'll say what the Scoville level is. Because, okay. Uh, because I feel like a lot of people it, want to know it, it, that. It does have them on the... It's in the millions. Okay. I know, which is right. what in the doing the... Yeah. Oh, so. Anyway, here we go. Okay. Okay, so we've got the last email here. Oh, you're really... <laughs> you're really going to town on that one. Okay. Okay, pretty decent. <sighs> okay, oh. I've got a lot on this one. I'd say I've done my own dab on top of uh, the regular amount. Whoa. You happy with that amount? Yeah, that's good. Okay, you've done you've look. done a good amount too. I mean, you've uh, done okay, a great okay, amount. Okay. Yeah. All right. Cheers. I Last can, one. I can I can smell this. Bon appetito. Can you smell it? Yeah, I can smell it. Yeah. It smells hot. Oh fuck yeah. Fuck me. I think have, it's not going to taste nice. Okay. Have we, we have we made a big mistake here? Maybe. Right, here we go. I did two bites. Okay. <sighs> okay. I'm... My throat got kind of cold <laughs> just then as, it, as it went down, and I feel like that's not a good sign of things coming. So I'm going to quickly try and get through this email. <clears throat> uh, yeah. Uh, again, uh, uh, Jeremy, third time. Hello, gentlemen. I was recently harassed on a Discord server for Animal Crossing. Someone thought it was edgy to ask whether or not semen is sterile and what happens when you drink it. Oh, my God. As you can imagine, I was shocked. To paraphrase, this was my response. Kevin, this has ramped up so much. <laughs> yeah. Oh. In that time. So, here's the thing. Red. <sighs> <sighs> Sorry, I just took a cheeky thing of milk there. Oh. I know we have some young kids listening, so I actually won't read this Discord message because it's... Pretty involved. <laughs> oh. AMA 17. Have you ever been harassed online by online gamers? Do you believe gamers should be an oppressed class? Your Chicago and straight and Filipino tall gamer oh. gamer correspondent. Oh, this one <sighs> is definitely the hottest. I, I'm sweating now. <laughs> this one is definitely the hottest. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Bye. Oh. My hands are actually. <laughs> ah, they're actually. Like, oh. You haven't had any milk, no, though. I, I do applaud you. Are you I'm sure you don't want milk? A little bit. I'm going to answer this question. 
Have you been harassed by online gamers? <laughs> yes. Sort of. <laughs> but like in COD. Call of Duty. <laughs> yeah. But it's always been a joke and kind of funny. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> this one. My hands are actually numb. I don't know why. Oh, really? They're going numb. Um. Oh. What would you do? What would you do if I took another bite? <sighs> you look like you're about to pass out. I'm okay. What do you yeah. think, Nelson? My. Oh, another bite. Oh. <sighs> My friend used to, I think, write messages to people on card. Huh. Yep. <laughs> being like. <laughs> being like. Your mum's a slut. <laughs> <laughs> and it just used to be so funny. So I've like never been offended right. by being harassed by gamers. But I've always felt it was funny. I feel like I need to keep my mouth open. I know, me too. <sighs> just a, but it doesn't help. But I just get that oh, feeling. I'm sweating so much. Um, do you believe gamers should be an oppressed class? Uh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Um, and I haven't been harassed by online gamers. I don't really, I don't really game, I let alone like online games. I harass you about games while you play games. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. I've been harassed playing games, but that was offline. Yeah. And that was in person. Are we done? Mm -hmm. Can I take the milk now? Take the milk. I'm going to do it another way. Okay. This one is so hot. This one, I reckon, jumped up. Way more than the last one. This one, you can see. I, I don't know if you can tell from where you are, but I can feel myself sweating now. That's the first one that get me. Oh, God. That's good you doing a second bite? Oh, your second bite's going to be way bigger than mine then. <laughs> Come on, Nelson. <laughs> All right. Wrap up the show. Thanks for listening. Thanks for writing in, Jeremy, and, oh God, <laughs> and Shell Animal, and Shadow. If you would like to write into us, you can do so. Reddit podcast, R-E-A-D-I-T podcast, yep. gmail.com. Yep. You can also reach us at Facebook, Twitter, and our subreddit. They're all R-E-A-D-I-T podcast. My hands are still numb. This is so weird. Um, uh, we'd appreciate it. If you subscribe to the show, if you're not ready. <laughs> yep. Leave a review. Leave a review. Five stars. Five stars, obviously. Even if you hate the show, it's just like, give <laughs> five stars. And um, <sighs> um, uh, tell a friend. Yep. Tell an enemy. Tell an enemy. We've got Discord. <laughs> all, the, all the links to all the stuff you need are in the show notes that we have written when we are less sweaty and, and uh, take him. Oh, we're going to do Skull of the Levels. <sighs> We, well, let's edit that in. The we end. can edit that in. It, this will be one of the rare episodes where we can edit that in. It, the, it's just like a Marvel film. End of the credits. End of the song. We'll tell you the Scoville levels we go for. I'm willing to even edit them in during the segment, which will take oh, me okay actual minutes. Oh, Scoville oh, levels. Scoville levels. Oh shit! That means we have to keep going. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Stacey. Thank you, Stacey. Oh, but wait before we finish. Thank you, Stacey. Thank you so Stacey. much. Honestly. Chef extraordinaire. Stacey, come try this last one. Hey, Stacey, come do me finger in. I'm actually... Can you see the beads of sweat? I'm I can, actually, there's one big old I'm, bead of sweat in your forehead. so much right now. Okay. First one. Ketea Fire Chili Pepper Sauce. Um, 2,500. Scoville. Easy. Nothing. Sriracha. Uh, Fiji Fire Native Bongo Chili Hot Sauce. 14,000. Yep. We went from 2,500 to 14,300. Scoville don't play, mate. Uh, dingo sauce. This was the Sriracha Super Hot. 65,000. Uh, Uncle Mungo's Mango Reaper. You're right, sorry. You did yep. say mango. Yep. 150,000. That one was pretty hot. That was pretty that hot. That was the dry heat. Uh, no, I think the dry... I don't know. <laughs> I always stop talking. I remember that one went up a, a level. The number five... Uh, the Chili Project I, I Signature think, Blend Hot Sauce I think it's extreme. passed more from me. Do you want me to get, take over? 430,000 Scoville units. Okay, 440,000. Okay, so number six was the Chili Seed Bank Reaper Ghost Sauce. Yeah. That was one million. 
a million. That's when we hit the mill. Uh, and then the Rapture, which is the one I believe that passed really quickly, right? Yeah. Um, it's called the Torchbearer Raptor 2.0. So they've refined it. 1.2 million. Okay. And Chili Bomb Zamfire Reaper Scorpion Hot Sauce, which is the one that we're currently <laughs> experiencing. Absolutely nailing. Yep. Uh, 1.7 million on the score for 1.7 million. Easy. Easy, easy. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Okay. That's it. So, thank you for listening, and we will read you later. Drink the milk, Nelson. Drink the milk. Ah, so good. <laughs> <laughs>